namaste. Now we are going for some basic guidelines to um, make a proper meal during lunchtime. It's very important, beside what you put on the plate, how you're going to eat. So since in Ayurveda, the lunch is supposed to be the uh, most important meal of the day, you should be with time <laughs> to eat. And you should be willing to eat, you should have appetite, you should be hungry, you should be uh, not with just like five minutes to eat. If you take 20 minutes to eat it well, or 30 minutes, or 40 minutes, or 50 minutes, doesn't matter, okay? The point is that during the lunch time, every, every meal actually, you should be mainly interested in taking the food as we spoke in the previous videos. Also, you should be clean, the, the space should be clean, there is, should be no kind of disturbance in your senses from any kind of uh, full smelling, noise that is annoying you, uh, the sight that is polluting your mind, people arguing and you're feeling just like stress about this, eating with someone that you don't want to eat. You need to be uh, happy with your life while you are taking lunch, okay? And during lunch, you should take um, a proper order of eating. This is going to follow the order of earth elements, water elements, fire elements, wind elements, and also um, space elements. This means that in the beginning of the meal, you're going to eat many things that are roots, like pumpkin, like potatoes, all the different kind of roots, including carrots, things are, that are born under the ground, plus pumpkin. This usually will benefit from the saliva in your mouth to start to um, digest properly the sugars that are there. After this, you are going to eat things that are born from grass, like wet, rice, oats, <laughs> barley, um, millet, any kind of grains that usually take a lot of water to um, to be. <laughs> also, you can consider quinoa in this uh, category. They are uh, very complex carbohydrates. After this, we are going to eat things that are more related to proteins, the fire elements, like beans, like eggs, like mushrooms, like meats. But the milk products are going to go in the beginning because they increase a lot of the moisture in our system so they should start the meal because they are more related to the first and the second flavor that we spoke in the rasa video. In this fire group there is going to be the hot dog group. They are uh, onions, garlic, uh, tomato, eggplant, um, I don't remember the name of that thing that the Mexicans eat a lot, just like that big pepper. <laughs> uh, the point is that these things that are usually uh, along with um, hot dogs are going to be in the fire group. And the uh, fourth group is going to be the wind group and uh, it's going to be with green stuff. All the green leaves, the green vegetables are going to be there. Everything that is not... Uh, before and it's greenish, it's going to be in this fourth group. The fifth group is going to be about uh, some spices like anise, like cardamom, some things that you can eat, chew and swallow if it's the case, or uh, teas that you can drink after uh, eating and also standing up and walking a hundred uh, steps. This will be the space element. It will increase the space of digestion for digestive organs. The point is that you should not make one plate and then go again for the same plate. If you're not so sure how much you're going to eat, first you eat the first and the second group together. 
And then when you feel that this amount of food in this group is okay, the earth and the water elements, you can go to the water and the fire elements. You eat the amount you need there. Oh, I'm going to need to serve again. Yes, maybe, maybe not. And uh, the, then when you are finishing with the water elements, you go for the fire and the wind. And the wind is going to end because the space element is not actually the food that we are going to intake. In the next video, we are going to speak about chutney. There is a specific kind of uh, aid to our digestion. Just like that uh, greenish uh, spice when you go to the Japanese restaurant. Um, the chutney is going to be all along the meal is going to be okay to eat it in small bites because it's going to be mainly for increasing the appetite during the meal not your hunger not your digestion actually it's also going to help but it's going to help mainly your appetite you don't feel heavy and not interested in the food during the meal in Ayurveda you should not drink uh, cold drinks, soft drinks during the meal. If you want to drink and you're thirsty, you should drink before the meal, usually like half an hour before if you want to have some juice or this kind of stuff, it's okay. But during the meal, we don't take fruit juice, even if they are healthy in a manner that usually it's thought. In Ayurveda, during the meal, if you need to drink because you're thirsty, okay, there is no problem. You can drink some uh, warm or hot water tea. Because in Ayurveda, if you put down the temperature of your belly or stomach, your digestive system during the process, this is going to hamper your digestion. And the desserts in Ayurveda, if you are very hungry during the uh, lunchtime, they should be in the beginning of the meal, not at the end. You can also not take uh, the dessert, you can take the dessert in the end of the afternoon, like 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 3 hours more or less after you uh, finish your lunch and you are uh, hungry again. But you, you don't need to take desserts if you don't like, if you don't have the enough digestive power to uh, make this full meal. Okay? If you do a lot of physical exercise, if you're a sportish person, you can have a very good dessert in the beginning, but not in the end. Yogurt in Ayurveda, it can be mixed with um, the food, but it should be taken in the beginning of the food, not in the end. Cheese, well, cheese is not good to take with milk, uh, not milk, meat. Uh, if you're going to take meat or eggs during that same meal, you should not take cheese. And cheese should go in the beginning. It's very good in Ayurveda to make like potatoes retinated with cheese, this kind of stuff. It's going to depend if the cheese is white or yellow, depending what is the temperature, what is the weather you are currently going on. But uh, these specific considerations are going to be taken in your consultation when we are speaking about your case, your condition, your weather, your life in that moment, your emotional uh, state. All these things are going to be considered. Here we are just saying the general guidelines. After you finish the lunch, you should be uh, able to uh, wake, not to wake, to stand up by your own legs, not with your arms. <laughs> I always say this, but uh, when you finish your meal and you're very heavy and you just need to climb the place you're sitting because you are very heavy, this is an indication that you, are, you have eaten too much. There is no space in your digestive system, it's just collapsed. If you finish your meal and you're feeling that it, it was not enough, soon you're going to be hungry again, half an hour, one hour, one hour and a half. This is also bad. In Ayurveda, in the lunch, you have to have a full meal 
that it should be at least around two hours so you can feel hungry again. From two hours to five, six hours is okay, the period that you're going to be needing to feel hungry again depending on your metabolism. But the point is that it's not half an hour. <laughs> for the lunch, for certain, it's not half an hour, okay? And also, uh, after the meal, maybe like uh, half an hour or one hour, if you start feeling thirsty, don't worry, it's a good time to have some tea. It can be depending some peppermint, it can be some hibiscus, it can be some... Uh, there are a lot of things that can be... <laughs> we are going to see this more specific in your case, right?